Hello Chief Dave here. It's Friday, seventh or eighth of uh, October, I'm not sure. I've uh, arrived in Subic yesterday. My first little look down at the beach. My room is in this building just above here, so I can see through these trees out onto the bay. Cut through this little area that's closed in the front, there's a fish and chip shop come cafe to sell a coffee there. And uh, you walk straight through here and you're on the beach. Go and take a look at that. Morning. Okay. So here we have Subic Bay, very nice. The mountains in the distance, a couple of islands and the bay is right around there. Now, I ain't gonna go swimming here. Looks like you got direct sewage to the beach from the town. But other than that, the place is very pretty. You got seven or eight jet skis, you got the other boat out there, a few fishing boats, and you got a smoking lady. Dragging the boat up. Notice down here though, there's nowhere to actually sit and have a coffee on the beach. Might get people down here if they had uh, a couple of restaurants and uh, bars down here. plan is to walk the length of this beach, just see what's going on and then I'll walk back down the main road and I'll show you that. So you've got apartments, hotels, and these are the people doing the water sports, do the jet skis, all that sort of stuff. Hello. Yeah, so it could be tidied up quite a lot down here. Get more people. Really, there's a few locals on the beach, and that's about it. All the banana. Boats and inflatables are uh, just sat there. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no one here to be hiring them. So you've got the Central Park Reef Hotel there. It's quite a big place. And I'm still surprised that nobody has got. Uh, little coffee shop down here. Yeah, it's very peaceful here, very quiet. There's the old uh, shipyard over there. I think it used to be an American air base, uh, American naval base, but uh, that's been given back to the Filipinos. I think they've still got some interest here, the Yanks, but uh, yeah. So, this was a massive base in the, in the war. More of that resort further along. Got 
of the umbrellas, and a few uh, rooms, few bits of accommodation over there. Someone's been busy building the sandcastle. There where you see the buildings. I think that is the main area of Barrio Biretto. Uh, that's where I went to a bar yesterday, had a couple of beers with uh, an Australian chap. Bit of a character, nice man. So uh, I'll probably head back there for a beer later because it was nice there. You can uh, just sit at the bar, have a beer and use the pool there, so uh, it's good all round really. lady wandering around selling stuff. I'm the only one on the beach to sell to so I don't know what she's gonna make today. Good morning. No thank you. you yes. Oh, I see you. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Hello. Hotels, more boats. They do look quite nice, the boats. It's lovely scenery around here. It's just a shame it, uh, it just feels a bit dirty around here. Could be so nice with all this rubbish on the beach. They could just pay someone to wander down the beach, clearing up, make it much nicer down there. Hello. Suzuki Beach Hotel. There looks quite a nice place. I did look at a hotel that an American recommended down the far end of this beach, the Arizona. Uh, he told me there was rooms there at 2,000 uh, pesos. And when I went into the reception and asked, the cheapest room they'd got was two and a half thousand. Uh, I got my room further down the road and it cost uh, 1,100. So uh, I think it uh, gives me a saving of 17 pounds a day. So that's uh, three days. I'm saving about uh, just over £50, I think, over three days by uh, stopping in the place I am. And uh, if you look at the last video, I'll show you my room at the end, and it's uh, adequate for me. And uh, more or less central to everywhere that I need to uh, be looking at. Well, that's a novelty. Someone's actually on the beach sunbathing. I've walked nearly the whole length of this beach and uh, other than me there's only, only uh, two tourists so not many at all but it's very quiet around here not really an awful lot happening I 
by this end of the beach you got uh, a lot more boats so as you can see up there that's the Arizona which is right on the beach but two and a half thousand pesos a night for me so it's too much me being cheap don't want to know good afternoon hello nice to meet you yeah These boats are waiting for people to go island hopping. I might check out the price tomorrow. And again, I might not. So that's the first area I've seen that you can sit by the beach and either get something to eat or, uh, or drink. more ladies selling stuff I think once I get out of Barreto in a few days oh here comes a raid once I get out of Barreto it's uh, the beach is going to be very very quiet which I'll be happy about good morning hello <laughs> You've got like a little small pier going out there. Seen the kids jumping off it. Beautiful views from here though. If you uh, just come round the bay, all the mountains look really nice. Pier here. I've been watching the kids jumping off it. Crazy kids. But, uh, Nice, so time to get up off the beach before the rain comes. And then, uh, then take a walk down the road. Steve, yeah. 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 Cheers! <laughs> 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 <laughs>